Hey guys, if you don't know, my newest special, Sledgehammer, is streaming on Netflix. Please give it a shot. Please watch with your friends. Please tell people about it. I would appreciate it. Thank you. I love you. This week on your mom's house. What do you think my penis would look like? Would it look like my dad's? Really I misspell good. diarrhea all, all the, the time. All the time. Yeah. Why are you spelling it so much? <laughs> I have it so much. I can't tame this wild man. He's a wild man. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Sotva Mattress Company. I absolutely love them. I sleep on a Sotva mattress every night. My children do. Even in our guest room at Casa de Segura, we have a Sotva mattress. People are like, really, Christina? Yes, I love them. They're soft. They're comfortable. They're plush. They're made in the USA, organic cotton. And the best part is you don't have to deal with salespeople. Is there anything worse than a salesperson? You just order it online. They set up the delivery. They come take away your old mattress for a nominal fee. And boom, you got the best mattress ever. And they're just amazing. And I can't recommend it enough. 90 day in-home trial. Uh, if you don't like it, send it back. But I doubt that's going to happen. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a kick-ass mattress, sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next purchase courtesy of us, sattva.com slash the shit. The next time you go uh, to look at Sattva mattresses, go buy one. Do yourself a favor. You deserve it. Here we are and here we go. It is your mom's house, Palmcast. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you as always for downloading, listening, uh, viewing us on the YouTubes, sharing this with your friends, playing it for your family, your grandmother, your children. Um, we are really excited about this week's show. We have some special treats that we're going to uh, be unveiling here very soon. Thank you, everybody who's been watching Sledgehammer on Netflix. Oh, it's um, such a great it's special. A, Tom. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Can um, I tell you what I love? That What's you that? licensed a very famous song. And Two. It, it really, I'm telling you, and, and if people knew how much you spent, they would be floored. I paid so much fucking money. Can I tell you the opening is, it gives me chills. I yeah. love it. It's just pretty rad. The, everything. It's just so exciting. And I know what you're talking about. I had to write two checks because yeah. I have the opening song and then I have a closing song. Um, and um, yeah, the opening song is by uh, Peter Gabriel. Gabriel. And the closing song is by a little outfit known as Gangstar. And I could have, you know, for a closing song, they're like, you could just play some stock music. No. And I was like, no, no, I'll, I'll cough it up. So I coughed it up twice <laughs> because I think it's part of the experience of the special. Absolutely. You know, and I've done, I've done the stock music thing before. And I understand it's like, you're not watching a special to hear songs. But, you know, one of the, like, this was like my, this special was me going, this is the culmination of a few years of touring. I went big on all aspects of it. Like there's this little, you know, intro that plays kind of recapping the the two year tour. It's pretty quick, but I was like, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it on this one. And then I wanted the music to just make it where you go like, oh, this is all, like it sets a tone. And I Absolutely. think even as a closing, even though it's like credits are playing, hearing that music for me is like it's still part of the experience of playing the special. I agree. And, you know, putting reinvesting in the special is where it's at. Exactly. You know, when I bought my suit for um, my last special for Jesus mom jeans, Christ. that I bought two of them because I you sweat through one. Each suit cost $20,000 a piece. And then I had Swarovski crystals put on real Swarovski. That was another $100,000 per suit. But I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. What do you think? And licensing the Frankie Goes to Hollywood song. Oof, Maron. That guy, that guy sent me a DM to thank me personally. Well, I'll just speak up for the fans <laughs> here. I spent a lot of cash. I'll speak up for the fans. Totally relatable. <laughs> now, <laughs> really cool. No, but I took the money Netflix gave me as a salary and just reinvested it is what I'm That saying. part is cool, actually. Yeah, I just reinvested the money they gave me. When I did, um, I didn't you guys have heard me shit. talk about spending the money I told, you know, you heard me tell, you heard me tell uh, Kevin Smith when he was here and I told Tarantino, I've told like directors and a few other people about, I wrote the check to make the thing I wanted to make. Yeah. And um, I can't talk about the, um, the details yet, but I sold it. <sighs> I sold that show. Um, and the reason that I'm most proud of it is that I spent money yeah. on uh, something 
creative. I bet on myself. In other words, yes. there's no guarantee you get this money back. But I was like, I want to make this specific thing. Yeah, make it And I don't want to go through the process of like hearing what somebody else is going right. to say. And it paid off. I love know? that. Yeah. Make it good. And you make cool stuff. That's bet on the yourself. whole point. That's right. Yeah. Always, <sighs> uh, look at the fucking rubbing his paws together. <laughs> he loves the word bet. You say I bet. Know. You just always bet on, you know, yeah. on you. And then you win. You win. Okay, so let's uh, let's get going here. Let's open the show. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get uh, let's get this ready. Hold on, and here you go. Hi guys, there are five things that you need if you want to live in your car as a vehicle dweller or as a nomad. So one of the things I like is this coffee funnel that is from REI. It is called a Soto Helix. I get these uh, coffee filters, the number four from the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring anyone money if this. you want to live no, in your car. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. You Tom want to? And Christina ah. Christina welcome to your mom's house. Meow, meow, meow. Do you want to live in the car? Huh. Oh. <laughs> really a vehicle for... You can learn how to do anything on YouTube. <laughs> um, you can fix your air conditioning unit. Yeah. You can, you know, you can learn how to plant watermelons. Yeah. And you can Drink also... Here's how you can do everything. I use this power bank. It's the energizer. I use it to charge my song. I also use it to charge my laptop. One of the things that you absolutely need is baby wipes. This is Target brand. It's the Up and Up brand. I like this scent. Um, these hold up really well, and I use these for cleaning. Most targets have them in stock. Yeah. That's cool, Tom. It's so relatable. Well, do you not want to live in your car? <laughs> do you want to be a vehicle dweller? <laughs> uh, can I tell you something? There was a time yeah. in college yeah. where I was technically homeless. Sure. Because I didn't have... Uh, uh, I was I was couch surfing, but instead of couch surfing, I lived in the kitchen. Yeah, I, and I slept on a futon. But isn't and every morning my my roommates would come out and make coffee, and that's when I would wake up. This is horrible. But isn't there something about the language of like? Doesn't she say? Let me if just, you want yes. to be. Hi guys, there are five things that you need if you want to live in your car. As if you want, want to, to live in your car. <laughs> Because, like, when you were on that couch, were you like, man, I'd really love to live in a car. No. Or I, no. I want to kind of better my, like, get things right. going. Right. Get my own place <laughs> with no wheels. Just a, a building with a door, live right. in there. Well, that, that's kind of what I, where I was going with this, is that as, as a former uh, unhoused person, I believe yeah. is what we call them. We don't call them homeless anymore. Yeah. I'd, you were transitioning. I was transitioning. From unhoused to... <laughs> Housed. I did have an 87 Chevy Nova at the time. Hot. I cut gray with gray interior. Fucking badass. I could have lived in my car. Yeah. I opted to live in a kitchen on a futon instead. Remember the gayest car you ever had? It was my 87 Chevy Nova. No, it was your Honda Insight. That fucking you piece think of that dog was shit. Worse? I hated that so much. You only hate it because it yeah. was hybrid and you thought I was the pussiest, gayest Californian <laughs> ever because <laughs> I had that. I fucking hated that. Why? Car. But why? It sucked. Because the AC was bad? I think it had fucking 100 horsepower. So? I, mean, I don't drive fast. You know that. Come on. You don't have to drive fast, but you just have to be able to get up and go. I mean, it. you could lay <laughs> You could lay on the fucking so throttle. And it would go. <laughs> and then you'd see it go like 25, 30. And you're like, fuck it, hey. And if you go to a, a stop sign, yeah. like a stoplight, the, uh, it would automatically go. The AC to, would kick. It would, cut, it would kick off. off. Yeah. So you, every time you're at a stoplight, <sighs> that was the worst. That no, part sucked. No air, and you're like, 
So you just sit there revving it, so the air would come. I, it was fucking. Well, can I tell I, you what I, I what car. I learned to do? Because you know who hated that car more than you? My dad. Yes. Yeah, he hated it the most. And he I came remember. to visit, and I was driving around LA yeah, in the middle like, of summer. He's like, you're married to a gay guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it <hit> so much. <laughs> but what I learned to do was put it into park when we were at stoplights and just rev the engine to keep him comfortable. He but hated he hated it. Hated that. And car. I remember he was like, God, this, like just this thing. I just hate this so much. Yeah, you are also going to need a peacup, a McDonald's cup, Duh. or a big old cup for when you can't make it to a bathroom. The last thing would be window coverings. Oh. Window coverings yeah. are easily I thought it was a made from bigger cup to shit in for privacy. <laughs> you can do this until you make your own. Have a great day. Well, hold on. There's a few questions I have. So, sure. where does she make browns? Well, yeah, I mean, she talked about where you have to piss. I get that. And then she should have been like, sometimes you're going to need to dump. And this yeah. is a bowl for pasta. <laughs> and I also use it as a shitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is my dunny. Yep. Like, you should. But then she probably has safe havens, public places like yeah. Starbucks or um, bookstores are really great to shit in, too. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Safe bookstores are probably a good one because you can always. Yeah. And people, you know, people that are in bookstores and work there, are you generally kind of weird? Like, yeah. they're not like, hey, yeah. how's it going? And so if you can go in there and just stare at the ground, and no one's <laughs> going to be like this person. They're like, this is our regular customer. And that can be just you thinking about how bad you have to shit. And of course. Then, and then if you just, like, look at somebody, the whole thing is like, what am I going to get here? Yeah. And then you're like, I just have to use the restroom. Yeah. Right. <laughs> then you go, you shit, and then you can leave. Yeah. You know? And you don't, they don't expect you to yeah. buy anything. No. Um, you're expected to loiter, which yeah. is great because you're just looking at books. And it's air conditioned in the summertime. And here's the thing. Just have a couple book questions ready. You know, just walk in there and be like, hey, I'm just, I was wondering, do you have anything on human sexuality? Or and they're financial like, oh, planning? Yeah, there's Jesus a Christ. Over here. Think and Grow Rich yeah. by Napoleon Hill. Like, there's a, you know, there's on. one I really like. Yeah. And then they tell you, you're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Well, you're done. Um, yeah. It is hot boy summer. Um, I have been, as you pointed out, getting into cool hobbies and doing so much of it. And, the, and then the last episode, I texted uh, arguably my best friend Jason Momoa, and I I, I said, Your "Which motorcycle friend. should I get?" Because I know he loves bikes, and he didn't write back during the show, but later he did, and um, he talked a lot. We he fucking loves. That's the thing is like, I have uh, my car friends. I have my um, all my. This is um, yeah. This is this is really him. He's he's. If you're gonna get a Harley. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he fucking He's pumped about this. He's stoked about it. Yeah. I have my car friends, I have fucking gun friends, sure. I have watch friends, and I have flying friends, chopper friends, and now I have motorcycle friends. And the whole thing is I'm going to put them all together and I'm going to take a helicopter, lift a car, uh check the time, pull the lever, have it drop and then a motorcycle comes out of the back. Oh wow. And that's what I'm going to do for my uh, uh 45th birthday. Wow, that sounds really reckless Safe. and dangerous. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, in addition to your cool motorcycle midlife crisis, you've yeah. also been talking to me every goddamn day about your cold plunge experience. It's the best way to start the day. I know that. Um, I know it's been like over. Like people are like, enough with the fucking who's no. cold. Like, I get it, but can I tell you this? Yeah, there is no better way to start that there's no cup of coffee like 39 degree water like when you come out of that thing i did it this, i've done it because we've been loading up on podcasts and it is kind of like a draining you know like spirits throughout the day when you're like planning it out and just trying to come in with like the right energy and do all this stuff when i start the day with that i have a much better day i go from the cold plunge i dry off and I go right to work out. By the way, it changes your core temperature so much that I don't sweat for fucking, look at her, like 30 Sorry, minutes. I, <laughs> I fucking, look, I love the feeling. The feeling lasts for a few hours. Why is it so hard for you to listen it's to? It's just, it's like, it's my nightmare. Basically, What's your nightmare? Basically what you're doing is traumatizing yourself every morning, Yeah. putting yourself in your body in a state of shock, and then being like, 
Yeah. This is great. You're actually right because your your brain goes into fight or flight mode and it releases this cocktail yeah, I, I of know. epinephrine, I norepinephrine, okay, dopamine, and then your body goes, "We lived," and you get to the thrill of that for a few hours. I can't. I thought we were about to die, and you're like, "Well, we were if we stayed in there." Yeah. I think because, like, a the cold is my nightmare. It is. You're I mean, terrible look at me at right now. It's yeah. probably a hundred degrees outside, and I have to wear a sweater to feel normal. Yeah. I'm just a reptile. I don't like it. Secondly. I get my kicks on positive uh, life affirming things, not like I cheated death today. Will you try it once? No, Wait, I'd, I'd rather die. What about this? No. What about this? What about this? Just hear no. me out. Just hear me out. Okay. I do three minutes. Your friends came over to the house and yeah. they each did three minutes. Yeah. Would you do 30 seconds? No. 20 seconds? No. But babe, can I tell you something? Can I tell you Five something? Five seconds? F physically, my body's been through enough. I've squeezed two people out of me. Here. My body is yeah, split but... in half. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> I think I'm all good on pain. Over. Yeah. I've had my asshole, my taint ripped and sewn up. I'm I've good. I've had my asshole fingered. It's not that fucking it's not bad. It's fingered. It's ripped and sewn. I'm good. I don't need any more pain in my Speaking life. Speaking of that. You want to talk about the shit I took this morning? No, oh. but go ahead. I'm saying that. You know what excites me and gets me revved up in the morning? What's that? Do you ever have a body function so good Yeah. that you reminisce about it yes. hours later? I know exactly what you mean. Babe, I took the biggest dump this morning. Yeah. It was totally unexpected. Like yeah. It was one of those sneaky ones where you're like, this could be nothing. And it was so much came out of me. Was it one piece or was no, it no three biggies wow and solid yeah okay really good because i've been eating those salads you know yeah and your summer salad my summer it's salad it's excellent by the way it's really good it's really good and i fucking i stood up and i was like god damn dude that was so good yeah i have sneezes like that um yeah. sometimes i uh Sometimes I bust nuts that I think about. Really? Um, and then. But do you replay pee. them? I replay like. Yeah. Well, the memory fades. Oh my God. So that's the thing is that it does fade. Like then it becomes a memory of a memory. Yeah. Um, the same thing with dumps and pee. Like some of the peas <laughs> are just really great. Sneezes, like I said, I really I don't love. care for peas as much. I did fart in the pool <laughs> and the bubble came up and burst and it smelled. And I thought that was pretty remarkable. But hold yeah. on. Was it a big bubble and it was a big smell in your face? Yeah, so like, like describe I, it. Come on, so I, the people are listening. I'm in the pool. I fart. I see the bubble come up, and I'm like, huh. And then it popped, yeah. and I was like, ugh. Like it really stunk. So it, like it, it was a, it was a gas bomb that came up. That was pretty special because that doesn't happen every time. Not every time. You know? I've had it happen a few times. Yeah. Yeah, I did get. By the way, last week when I left, I did get a wink out at Nadav on. Yeah, uh, I like when you do that. Now I'm did you on. Like it? It's funny because like I know you guys were on your way out and all of a sudden I just hear a huge fart mm -hmm. and then I look over my shoulder and then we make eye contact and you wink at me. So yeah. it's like, it's literally just for me. That yeah, was for you. That's yeah. kind of neat though. It was pretty special. Yeah. But now I like it and I wish you he could be around on the weekend so that he could do that because he has no one uh, to do that to. In the I got to get, I got to do it more around him. Maybe we could just have him around more. Yeah. And you just hang it off. Yeah. Maybe you could FaceTime him when it happens. You know, you're talking about your butthole. Yeah. Um, getting ripped apart. Mm -hmm. I have something to show you. Okay. Um, it's so good. What's your name? <laughs> My name is DeMarco Fleming. Are you gay? I'm bisexual. Are you top or bottom? I'm a top, dom top, aggressive top. Can you describe what yeah. dom top means? Dom top means, which means I grab you by your back and neck, put your face down, mm -hmm. ass up, and fuck the shit out of you, and have you walk crazy for days. Walk crazy for days? Crazy for days, which means you'll be real sore and you'll be calling me on the phone. Daddy DeMarco, I need help. I need, I'm, I'm sore. Give me some Tylenol. That's what that means. Okay. Uh, honestly, I don't think I can handle it, but I appreciate your honesty. I know you can't handle it. I can tell the way you walk you can't handle it. My dick is big. They call me King Kong in my pants. I know you can't handle it, but I'll make sure I go real gentle with you. Because yeah. you're cute. Thank you so much. I like it gentle. All right? So that is DeMarco <laughs> Fleming. Um, and... Uh, I like him. I like his chutzpah. I like, oh, he's got a lot of chutzpah to By the him. way, he would split that little boy in half. Yeah, he's he would. He's little. And he, he was um, even 18? Jesus. Somebody tell, like, some people talk that talk, and you're like, this guy's full of oh, shit. Oh, that guy fucks. And then some guys are DeMarco Fleming, and you're like. Yeah. 
This guy will fucking ruin you. And and it's also because what I like about DeMarco is he is a man of a certain age. So you know that he's been doing this for years. Oh, yeah. Like, he's not joking about the size of his dick. No. And he's not joking about the fact that you're going to be sore and probably calling him or other people for help. Yeah. You know? He's traumatized so many beholes. My immediate thought when I first saw this would be like, well, it'd be so funny if he did that to Nada. To fuck his butthole? <laughs> And the handicaps? Into being handicapped, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing this new thing where you send me clips and you're like, wouldn't it be funny if this handicapped you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. this new lane. How yeah. would you but but here's the deal the difference between that little boy and the dog. Yeah. The dog's got some weight. He on does him. have some weight to him. He's big. Not and, in and, my asshole. Well, no, but no, like but you could push if, he, back. if he held on to you. Yeah. You know, and he was, and and yeah. and like he was like he would go uh, bitch ass in the dog yeah. or whatever he called yeah. you, and then, yeah. and then <laughs> he just, you know, aggressively, you know, <laughs> held on. He would fuck him really hard, <laughs> so hard. Nadav could take it though better than that little boy. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. and the, but Nadav also has a bad back, and this is why oh, I thought about yeah. it. Terrible funny. back. I have a bad back. He has a bad back. Got a bad back. Bad Sometimes bite. he he'll come in. He'll be and he'll walk weird yeah. already. I'm like, why are you walking like that? He's like, I threw my back out. Yeah. If, what if he came in and he was like, yeah, this guy Demarco, <laughs> you know, he fucked fuck my, my ass. He fucked my ass, but my back, um, he got injured, and then. Like one, like this, some Monday we're like, where is the dog? And like, oh, he's in the hospital. It's like, what happened? He's like, he went back to see DeMarco. He couldn't get enough <laughs> of daddy DeMarco. <laughs> but then he's in like the, you know, the spinal paralysis unit or whatever. Oh, wow. And um, <laughs> it's just it's like, like you're laughing and smiling. I don't like, I think that's what hurts me the most <laughs> is that the thought of me being handicapped yeah. Yeah. makes you laugh. Well, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> We all go. We and, all go to visit, and we're like, "What happened? Was he in a car accident?" And he's just like, "Demarco." And we're like, "Oh no, Demarco paralyzed the dog." But we would still have him work here for sure. Yeah, and we would have Demarco on and be like, and, oh, "I'm sorry, man." And, and it would be worth it too because it was probably the best pounding of his life. Because yeah. Daddy Demarco, oh, yeah. a professional. Sure, Daddy Demarco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my family would be like Nadav. Why can't you move anymore? Yeah. And I'd be like, well, you know, I hung out with my friend Daddy D, and you know, he and, does stuff to my butt. Me and so also, hard. I'm sore. Give me some Tylenol. What? Yeah. <laughs> and also, wouldn't it just yeah. be like a beautiful swirl of of red hair, red pubic hair, and sweat and blood oh, and yeah. cum? And, and the look of them together would be it would be hot. It would be kind of cool. Like yeah. Demarco's chocolate skin. Yeah. And, and Nadav's like kind of pale Pasty, and, pinkish and red. Tone. Like the the it, the color. It's like mm -hmm. really like a Jackson Pollock painting. It's mm -hmm. just everything is there. Are I you really... freckled too? You're very fair. Yeah. He's I mean, what, gotta, whatever the sun hits, I have yeah. freckles. Have yeah. you walked crazy for days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll try anything twice, but I don't think I'll try twice. DeMarco yeah. once. Yeah. No, yeah. I wouldn't. I would definitely not get my a-hole massacred yeah. by this now, guy. The, or my V. See, as a man, a lot of men, and it might be different for gay men and, and what they want, like, but for straight men, there is kind of a certain thrill about hearing that a woman, you made a woman sore. Yeah, you know? sure. Right, because it makes you feel like oh, I really, you really did some pounding. Really split her ham, you know. I really like split her ham. You know, <laughs> like oh, I, <laughs> ham. I just, you know, dom top, aggressive top. Yeah, I gave it to her, you know. Yeah. But um, how do you? Because I think gay men might enjoy the soreness more. Does like do women not enjoy it as much? Like a sore episode. I'm sorry. Are you asking me if a gay guy? I'm asking you as a woman. Sure. Whether being sore from a from like a real pounding is actually a turn on or not. Or I guess it no, varies. I like woman it. Okay. I like it because uh, I mean, you're the only one that's pounded my V in 20 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, the other last time we did it, actually, I would, I went to go potty and I, I wiped and I was like, Ooh, ouch, Tommy really did some work. And Thank it's you. a nice remembrance. It's apropos our earlier discussion. Oh, that's nice. You guys, Thank um, you. Thank our, you, John. our earlier discussion of like, uh, it's like a, Oh, I took that shit. This yeah. morning, and I keep re re reliving it, reminiscing. Yeah. And then I think back, oh, yeah, I remember we well, pounded. you know why you were sore? Why? Dom top, aggressive top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. this is what Joey Diaz would call an old school F. An old school. Oh, 
a real? No, 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 no. Isn't this just a real? I mean, yeah, but I mean, yeah. I, but this, I get what you're saying. But this is like an old school guy that's like, I'm an aggressive top. I'm a Don. I'm going to yeah. fuck the shit out. Like, yeah. you don't, I miss these kind of gays. The thing is, this guy is actually probably, you know, he's gay, right? He's gay. Obvi. Um, he's bisexual. <laughs> he's gay. So <laughs> he's gay, but he's not like. Yeah. He's not swishing around. Right. <laughs> and he doesn't play that shit. But he's yeah. probably, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this guy just likes men. Yeah. But he, he'll he still fucking knock your fucking teeth out, you know? Sure. Maybe while fucking you with his dick. But also, you know, for talking some shit to him. Like, you can't you can't just, like, go up to DeMarco and... No, and, but he's had to be tough, probably. From his upbringing, sure. his neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He grew but, up in a, in a tougher time to yeah. be a, a gay man, sure. a bisexual man. Yeah, but he, he's about to eat this kid interviewing him. Oh, this little morsel. This yeah. little twink has no shot. There's fear in this little morsel's Absolutely. eyes. Absolutely. Yeah. Because he's like, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Please go away. Yeah. Yeah, because he tries to kiss him. I didn't, you, I, I didn't... Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, you didn't... I got you all Thank day. you so much. Thank you so much. I cannot kiss, though. You cannot kiss? No, I have a boyfriend. He has a boyfriend. I got yeah. a husband. What does that mean? You can't see the engagement ring on my neck? Get with the program. My name is DeMarco Fleming, all right? Period. Thank Period. you again. Holla. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. Got Thank you. you. Yeah. You're awesome. Yeah. He is awesome. He is terrified. He's the best guy. He is absolutely terrified. <laughs> he yeah. is. Yeah. He would split him. Uh -huh. Just DeMarco, destroy his yeah. asshole. Oof. This kid wouldn't be able to get up and walk <sighs> ever. Scary. Um, but Nadav could take a pounding. Nadav definitely. can definitely like, take it. From don't, the I, I don't know where you guys are getting that from. <laughs> I don't like maybe maybe a pinky in there I could do, but like I cannot take a full Demarco in there. No. But you've got the you've got meat on your bones. You can push back on. We'll it. try to set it up. If you have a family like I do, you know how important it is to have life insurance. And I know that's a big bummer of a topic, but it doesn't have to be with Policy Genius. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 per month for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius has licensed award-winning agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive uh, to recommend one insurer or another, so you're guaranteed the best possible plan. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net. You deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Head to policygenius.com slash mom, or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash mom. Um, so we had a fascinating chat um, <laughs> amongst ourselves about mm. this dude who was on Humans of New York. Man, um, Rex. And this, this, like, we read this incredible, if you missed it, we read this incredible uh, caption, which is what he said. Um, and for those of you that missed it, um, it's, it's up on Humans of New York on the Instagram page. We talked about it at length on a couple of the last few episodes, but it was this dude, Rex, who talked about how he's one of those people that, um, who can like hold their orgasm, in, their ejaculate in, have an, or, an internal orgasm essentially. And we played that and we talked about it, like I said, at length. And, um, and then he said how there was, you know, he was giving thousands of orgasms. It sounded like pretty braggadocious. And, and then he was like, I'm not doing that anymore because I don't want to make it hard on them, on mm. women. He doesn't want to like, break their hearts. Yeah. He's like, and then he's like, it must suck for them to like have sex with me and then have to ha eat dirty sock soup for the rest right. of their lives. Well, um, no, because women were falling in love with falling him. Falling in she love. Would go, he would find like shrines built to him. To him in a woman's house. And mm -hmm. he was like, I was, I was really fucking with people. So we we talked about it, like I said, and 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 then there's a new post now. And the new post is this one. Um, this yeah, and this one, it's it's a it's a it's a new one from Humans of New York. It's him again, and he's in a sauna, and there's two women. He looks like he's, well, he's giving a foot rub to one, and the other one's just laying there. And the quote on this one says, "I'm basically a big butch lesbian." I hosted lesbian parties for 10 years, and let me tell you, they adore me. A lot of my closest friends are big butch lesbians. 
Certainly my best bodybuilding partners, amazing, aggressive, powerful women. Very dominant over the males in the gym. Not dominant over me, of course, unless they're busting my balls. Because strong women are ball busters. They're just like the dudes. They are the dudes. They just happen to be dudes that are dudettes. They understand both sides of the, they understand both sides of the fence, which is why we get along so well. Don't get me wrong, I'm still friends with a lot of dude dudes. But a lot of guys are just too rough around the edges when it comes to women. I don't want any part of it. I find it grotesque. One term I've been hearing these last couple of years is body count. I've heard men say, what's her body count? They're referring to the amount of people a woman has been with. What a pathetic, disgusting, wormy question. How dare you? This is an independent soul. This is the human that needs to be treated with honor and respect. This isn't some piece of property you can put in a box. Imagine thinking someone is not worthy of you because they were a little experimental when they were younger or even when they were older. That's their choice. Leave them alone. A woman can be with whoever she wants, whenever she wants, however she wants. If you ask me, it all comes down to insecurity. A lot of women think if she's had a lot of lovers, there will definitely have been somebody better than me. They feel threatened and they try to make that the woman's problem. What a sad way of viewing things. No matter how many lovers a person has had, they'll never have been with another you. Every person comes to the table with what they bring to the table. All of us are exactly what we are, different. All that and all, sorry, and that is what makes us all so special. There's a typo there. Um, so, wow, it's a little different dimension we're seeing. That is a different dimension. And that's a very, um, you know, very insightful thoughtful. and thoughtful uh, mm. uh, kind of outlook on, on being with a whore after... Mm. Um, Some slut rag yeah. used up cum dump. <laughs> You're trying to, yeah, trying to justify being with this absolute yeah. trash bag of a human. Sure. Who no self-respect. Half of a city and sure. doesn't care about her own... Uh, body and just gives it to everybody and then yep. you can be like oh you know we're all different people so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking slut uh, doesn't care about herself why should i so anyway um this guy i mean there's just so much to unpack in all yeah. of his posts but he's fascinating and we have a little treat <laughs> uh for for ourselves and for you the listeners and viewers I'm sweating um uh, we're gonna talk to rex right now oh my god the legend What if he's like, hello? Hey, hello. Rex. This is he. Hey, man, how are you? This is Tom Segura. Thanks for uh, taking the call. Tom Segura. <laughs> Listen, I am never going to hotel rooms again. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm ah. sorry about that. I'm uh, actually, you don't have to worry about hotel rooms because now I only have internal orgasms. I don't ejaculate anywhere. Um, it's good. It's good. You're going to get superpowers. Dude, You're gonna I'm going to get microcosmic orbital energy rating to the next level, brother. Dude, I'm so excited to talk to you. Gloria, um, knock it off. I'm here with um I'll tell that woman to keep it down. I um Oh, that was that was actually a, a beautiful hound puppy in the backyard. <laughs> I know. In the backyard with me right now. I know. I yeah. I'm here with um Christina. Hi She's, Rex. Uh, can we just talk about the meow meow? Sure. I what? loved your special. Oh, thank I you so much. I never think I'd be able to talk to the two of you guys. I'm oh. a huge fan. Well, we're, you both know. we're well, huge fans of you. Oh. We, um, we, we, uh, we <laughs> yeah, saw I that, saw. we, we saw that post and, um, we were so marveled by it. And we've, we've actually talked about it at length, even more, even with other guests. And, um, I, uh, you know, I think I was just very insecure and jealous at how powerful you are in the bedroom. And I just, I'm just true. Just another person like any other person. I just happen to be lucky enough to have erectile dysfunction by the age of 19. Did you really have ED at 19 years old? So uh, I don't know if you know the term, um, like when people have high testosterone, there's a term called bed humping. Uh -huh. where if you have very high testosterone, a lot of young men, at, at, from like whether it be from 8 years old or 11 years old, whenever they start catching hard-ons in their sleep, they start to bed hump. Yeah. They don't even know that they're doing it. So they desensitize their penises. Well, for me, uh -huh. I had been around so many beautiful women from a young age. My mother had worked at a lingerie bar. I grew up around topless and new bars. Mm. And then at the age of 14, I was, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So nice. I was there during the whole spring break capital of the world 
type yeah. of era. Okay. And so with that happening, everything was different for me. And there's just beautiful women everywhere all the time. Yeah. I just was always around it. And so visually, it was very overstimulating. So you became like this, um, obviously, like really great lover. Is it a combination of the fact that you you it's, studied, it's you good, read this information? It, what's that? It's no, it's 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 matches. It's it's when the post came out, it's written well. Yeah. But it's it's. I haven't been with thousands of people. I just happened to be with the right people. Yeah. And shared the right energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those that we have shared it back and forth. And if you do the work, like I said in the the, the interview, because the interview is a little different from the post. Yeah, what, what's for sure is what I said, but it's not in the exact always exact order of how I said it and exactly how I said it. It is word for word, pretty much what I've said. Is a lot of and, your uh, is your lot of your like high level. Like, you know, the fact that you're, you're so good at, at, at this with, with whomever, is it, is it a lot of hand stuff? Like, is it, you know, like using your hands well, to achieve like this? I said, it's all right. So it is about being very sensitive, uh -huh. asking what the other partner needs. Right. And a lot of times people are very insensitive, or I should say are so sensitive that they're afraid to talk. Yes. Afraid to yes. Talk. So you have to then listen and watch them and see how sensitive they are to these things. Yes. One of the most important things that a man or woman with whoever their partner is can do is to watch the eyes, watch the facial expressions, watch the breathing, take your time, be as soft and gentle as possible until someone tells you different. Soft works a lot better than hard. Yeah. And soft and slow and steady. The big thing is, is about taking your time and asking the right questions. And sometimes those right questions can't even be asked. So I tell people on a regular basis, especially men that I'm friends with, because there's a lot of men out there that don't know that they're just going around bang, 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 bang. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. You gotta take your time. Like for me, I'm rarely a guy that leans into a kiss. I, I have to be leaned into, because mm -hmm. I'm nervous. I'm six foot four, I'm about 255 pounds. I'm a little bit intimidating. So the last thing I wanna do is make someone feel intimidated. Yes. And especially nowadays with, with the way everything is, I have to be even softer than I was before. And, and I've had a lot of girls like, hey, are you not interested in me? I'm like, oh, I'm super interested in you because we're on three, four, five dates and I've never tried to kiss them. Uh, Rex, can I, I ask you, Rex, so, so do we, just so that we're clear, do you not use your penis with, with these women? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Of course there's, 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 you're having sex oh, okay. at any level that you choose to with the partner that you're with. But I have had a lot of partners that I chose not to take, as we call it, the lingam, the wand of light, yes. the penis. Mm -hmm. Or as my favorite was, Chris, Christina, when you said the peener. Yeah, the um, peener. Yeah, there's been a lot of partners where I've chosen to actually give them great orgasms. They allow me to share with them their bodies, my body, but I don't even take my pants off. I can Whoa. probably say it's embarrassing because I'm a little bit too active when I was younger and somewhat active this past year. It's been kind of a good year. Um, mm. I probably had somewhere over 100, 150 partners that I've never taken my pants off. So, so hold Whoa. on. If you were to give my husband directions <laughs> okay, today i get, tell him yeah. what to do rex you tell tom oh oh you want to you want to talk about hands-on stuff or you want to yeah about micro no we want energy raising whoa i am both hands on stuff let's just go hands-on because no okay so the microcosmic orbital energy raising and all of the other electrical body stuff you don't want to learn from me Okay. I am a squirrel trying to get a nut in that world when it comes to Montauk Chia. You could get one of his audiobooks. I can literally give you a list of his audiobooks. Okay, okay. we'll take that. And the first one, the first one, most importantly, beyond, in my opinion, is always the multiply orgasmic woman by him and his wife. You can always do great work with that. Then there's a deeper one. It's a thick book, but it's a worthy read for both of you. And it's The Healing Tao by Montauk Chia. Now, both of those are life-changing, in my opinion. This order is, those. Again, this is my opinion. But oh, are you ordering? Right yeah, I'm, I'm order having the producers right order them right now. 
Oh, there's such fantastic books. You're gonna you're gonna be so. I want pleased. I want the listeners um, I want the listeners to hear the the, the order those Montag Chia books. Uh, so far, we know um, you know take your time, pay attention, look at the eyes, um, and now I'm, I'm ready for knife? this. These important things were just, just the most basic of basic things for sure. people to do. They don't listen to to the significant other, and that's a sad thing. Whether it be man and a man or woman and a woman. There's a list, literally, um, for, for you and yourself, very important, is Qigong for prostate health and sexual vigor. Okay. That is for you, Tom. That is for you. That's for our boy, Bert, who's got that heavy belly. All right? <laughs> uh, no, come on. That's dangerous. Let's be honest. Dangerous. It's, it's dangerous, and it's growing. Look how amazing it's growing. you look. look yeah. I couldn't believe it was you when I saw the – when all – like 100 people sent me your um, – <laughs> Your uh, YouTube, I yeah. was in tears laughing, by the way. Okay, good. You good. guys are so perfect together. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's just so good to see a couple that's so delicious, inspirational. Uh, um, thank you. I always worry about him when I see his stuff, you know, because he hasn't <laughs> lost the weight like you. You're, you're, you are three times healthier looking than any special I've seen on. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. That's, um, that's fair. And by the no, way. You're doing the work, man. You and look. This is going to make it so that your kids. You huh? you what? look incredible. Oh, you look yeah. incredible. I know that you you're not uh, uh, from as, the same. As you look incredible. Would say, say yeah. that. Yes, bro. Yeah, bro. I like to work out. It's obvious. I mean, you're you're jacked. It's awesome. Um, it's it is inspiring to see that too. Can I ask you one thing? Because we um anything we got to we have not to jump we have to, we have to jump here. But if there's any other bit of ad- advice where you can get to somebody who wants to get started in in I know you said to get the books. And you know the the intuitive stuff about love making, but like somebody who's looking for like oh like a, a one thing you could say to a beginner who wants to up their skill in that in that realm of being a great lover and maybe maintaining their ejaculation their ejaculate inside of it. like is there anything you could honestly point I should us towards? be putting ads out there for other people yeah there's an app called Doctor Kegel oh if you don't have that app as a male mm-hmm. get it Doctor Kegel all right. All right, and the Kegel app will make all the difference. And the truth is, because men aren't doing their Kegels and women are. And that's a huge thing. Everybody needs to do their Kegels. Prostate health on both sides, mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. If you don't have your Dante on your center line and your... your doing them right now. Your lower abdominals mm. trained yep. properly. Mm. Yep. So your pelvic floor, as it said. Oh, yep. If you don't have that trained properly, you're not going to age well. Now, yeah, this true. sounds crazy. It's true. But yeah. Also, work on your grip. And you're like, what? How does that happen to do? Your feet, your hands, your pelvic floor. Rex, thank you for picking thank up. You, and thank you for chatting with us, man. We had a really good time talking to you, and we love the posts. Thank you. Thank you for being the funniest people. Oh, on you're this sweet. Earth. Thank Rex. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, he's a lovely guy. Well, isn't I mean, he? what a sweet guy. What a and, sweetheart. And I believe how that he really is genuinely that sweet. Yeah. And that is a Kegel lecture. That is great because I, you know, there's some pussies that I remember where the women, like they could make their, basically their pussies talk, you know, they like, mm-hmm. rah, 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 like that. And it's, I think he said like, it's good for women, but also the men, we need to be doing that too. You're going to make your dicks, dicks yeah. come up and down. Don't you do that? It's a, make yeah, you can do that. Pop. But I think you can really hold on to your orgasm if you have a strong yeah, it's a, rub, uh, pelvic rub, floor. Rub. Yeah. Uh, you can hold it like that. 50 time? 50 um, time? 50 right. time. 50 time le, 50 time da, 50 time le, 50 time bye. Right. <laughs> and in the orgasm. Okay, so. No, um, it's circumstances. It's circum, and the men who we are. We just say uh, uh, circumstances. Circumstances. <laughs> they, you know. There he is. <laughs> yeah, there he is. God, that is rup, the worst rup, sound. Rup. <laughs> his, his fake orgasm is. All right, let's uh, take a quick break and we'll be right back. And we're back. I just had four internal orgasms, and I'm super thrilled to be welcoming back to the show one of our favorites. He has a new book out. It's called We're All in This Together, so make some room. It's Tom Papa, everybody. I'm holding a copy. You're holding my book, and people are going to buy it. Congratulations. Thank you. I give the advice that you gave me that I listened to for a week. Uh-huh. I've told you this before. <laughs> yeah. Which is uh, write a little, like write some every day in like this window of time. And then like over the course of a month or two, you'll be like, oh, I've written so much. Yeah. And you won't feel a panic of like, oh my God, how do I finish this? Which is what I eventually <laughs> right. uh, did and felt. But uh, did you stick yeah. to that approach with this as well? Yeah. I, uh, that is the right yeah, way to do it. Yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah. I like doing it. I like just sitting in and noodling around and how much time will you spend a day? A uh, couple hours. A couple hours. Yeah. And some of it's you're not doing anything. You're just staring. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, if my wife walks down the hallway, like, I feel like I have to make noise. Yeah. So I'll just literally type. This oh, is, yeah. This is the sound of typing stay out of my yeah. office. Yeah. If you make a noise and people <laughs> go like, oh. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes you're just sitting there spaced out. Or and the door is shut. You just go like. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, there's <sighs> something going on in there. Yeah. Geez. That doesn't stop us from knocking on your door. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> are, are you into VR yet? Are you into the Oculus? No. Why? <laughs> just because like that's a cool thing dads are into. And it's also a way <laughs> to shut out your family too. If you're looking for ways to get away. Yeah, but I'm pretty self-conscious of looking like a moron. Yeah. You know? Sure. Like having that thing on your head is kind of... Oh, it's so, it's so embarrassing, and it dries up my pussy. <laughs> that's why, that's my fear. Yeah. Why, are you into it? <laughs> nah, that's just... Uh, I've seen people do it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'll send you one. It's pretty rad. Taking an ice bath and try, doing the Oculus at the same you know, time. Try the yeah. Oculus and then get back to me. Okay? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I think is it amazing? I, it's pretty fucking amazing. Is yeah. it? Yes. Yeah. It's great. You're getting a motorcycle? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Don't get a... What? What is he telling you to get? A Harley. Different, yeah. We're looking at different Harleys. Or yeah. like a cruiser. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. I, I, that's I like, good. Well, are the handlebars up here? They like can be. They can thing? be, but I that's think I'm better here. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, doesn't this yeah. hurt after like five minutes? I yeah, think? it looks really cool for a while. It does. Yeah. yeah. This seems yeah, like it, don't, any type of, you know, time <laughs> spent on it, you'd be like, yeah. oh, I regret yeah. getting this. It's kind of like hanging <laughs> yeah. on yeah. to it. Yeah. No, but I was worried you would get like uh, like a Ducati or no, one no, of those no. crotch rocket things. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Do you, did you ever ride bikes? Yeah, forever. Really? Uh-huh. Tell us about it. I had a Yamaha Virago. Okay. Was my like Harley knockoff. East Coast? East Coast. Okay. And my father's a big biker. Oh, wow. And he rode my whole life. Oh, yeah, that was my bike. Look at that. Oh, that's Virago. Cool. And my wife and I went cross country when we were dating for only a couple months. We got on that bike mm -mm. and we went all around the country for five weeks. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Yeah. And that's and when we fell married. in love. Yeah. That's when we knew. So that's a, that's we didn't a fight big we thing like, to you. It was huge. It was huge. My father goes on these trips every June with his buddies and he would just take off for like a week and they'd go like East Coast, Nova yeah. Scotia, down to like uh, Asheville, like all these different places. And uh, when I graduated, I was never allowed to have a bike because it would have ruined his, like my mother would have freaked out. Yeah. Uh, so when I graduated high school, uh, college, I got my first bike and then uh, got to go on trips with him. Was it easy to learn? Was it tough? Was it? It's you know, easy. Easy. Yeah. Do you not know how to do it yet? I've only spent like, I only rode one once uh -huh. for two minutes mm -hmm. and then I did a dirt bike. one. That's it. So I've never spent significant time on one. Yeah. yeah. It, no, it's easy. I mean, you got to pick your places because it's, the roads are hairy now. Yeah. You know. Open road somewhere. Open yeah. road, yeah. off hours early, really yeah. early because, uh, you know, God forbid something happens. It's it was you do have more control when you're on it. Like mm -hmm. you feel like you you can control it. Like you're more aware of traffic and yeah. potholes and other people. Uh, but it's it's definitely a thing. Like I stopped when I moved to L.A. because it's too crazy in L.A. Just insane. Yeah. And I had my first kid at the time, and uh, I was just that combination was like I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Was the, some people in L.A actually felt like it's or feel like it's the thing to have alonzo like, yeah because you can just like go you know you don't sit the way people sit in traffic yeah yeah but alonzo's alone yeah you know if if something happened to him you know his dog doesn't get fed yeah you know right i mm. had a whole family mm. Yeah, that's funny, Tom. Does <laughs> well, anyone that's else in LA. have a family? <laughs> well, that's Does a, anyone else have responsibilities? It's a good thing we don't live in LA. Yeah, yeah. you live in Austin. There's yeah. no traffic here, right? Yeah. No, it's a joke. <laughs> You're uh, constantly saying what a joke the traffic situation it is. is a here. You're right. You're my right. father's in New Jersey and New York, and he's been on a bike since my whole life. He's oh, 77. Wow. He's, he's still not, doing it. Okay, okay, so that's good. Yeah. 77. You just got to be smart. You're smart. Yeah. You, you handle it. Yeah. And cruisers at that, that just that 
that you're looking at those bikes yeah. means that your head's in the right place. Thank you. Yeah, that you're not just going to go out there blasting. No. no. Yeah, you're just going to be very relaxed. Very just, relaxed. Just, just having a... Very very that's what I like. I like that noise. You know, this, this whole trend towards electric... Si- yeah, It does no. like loud cars, because you actually make your cars louder. Yeah, that's true. They're loud. Yeah. Yeah. He My mom goes on the, ba- on the back... Oh, My mom would cute. be on the back, and they would that's like go through adorable. Europe together and stuff. Come on, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. you know why I put make my cars louder? It's like doing Kegel exercises. It <sighs> makes my uh, makes me my pee pee go up. Oh like yeah, this no, like, I know. Yeah. listen, you're a high octane guy. You need your thrills. <laughs> yeah. I can't tame this wild man. He's a wild man. Yeah, can't tame the beast. <laughs> I'm gonna get Tom an Oculus, and I'm gonna get him yeah. a cold plunge. What do you do on the Oculus? Um, well, the first thing I did was a space tour. Ooh. That was pretty cool. And then <laughs> I signed cool. up to serve our country. So Whoa. I um, have been doing missions uh, for the United States military that are kind of top secret, but I've been going to uh, the Middle East. And, Jeez. Yeah. Is it hot there? It's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot. Wow. But I had the appropriate attire. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Are you camouflaged? You know what sucks is I had all the gear on too. Oh, jeez. Like, uh, my vest and I got my, oh my, my weapons. And um, jeez. yeah, Jesus. it's rough, dude. But that is rough. A lot of times you think about, yeah, but what am I doing here? It's, it's for everybody back home. Tom, thank, thank you for our, thank you for your service. So yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Did, did you, you board the planes early? I, put, I, I actually just he does. did. I actually he just does. did. That's and they cool. asked me, they're like, are you yeah. um, a current like servant? And I was like, mm, actually, yes. Yeah, and obviously. So, yeah. Right. They're like, do you have military idea? I was like, don't be fucking rude. Don't be I, fucking rude. How about salute? Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, so I'm, you know, Tom and I are going through our midlife crises, respectively. Um, oh, I've been yeah. going to goth shows, you know, like the same bands I've liked my whole life. I've been rebuying the t-shirts from my youth, well, stuff like that. Yeah. Tom, cold plunge, helicopter lessons, motorcycle, <laughs> race cars. Did you go yeah. through a midlife crisis? Yeah, kind of, but it was, my midlife crisis was happening at a time where I really didn't have much freedom to do stuff. Oh, I didn't get like... Even sweeter. I just got kind of cranky. <laughs> I just got kind of you like... just took that it counts. inside, took it inward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a lot of that. Yeah, did you, I, I didn't... did you get angry at your wife and kids for trapping you in this fucking life? That kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. some of that. Some of some like uh, regret of like all the choices I had made or that they made me make. Yeah, you know. Uh, but I had, yeah. I feel like I got a lot. It, it wasn't like the typical like car bands like sure like that so what part did you of do? it. Heroin. No, I think. Uh, I had done it all before, you know what I mean? And then it kind of, so like I wasn't going back to drugs. You kick a homeless guy yeah. when you're sleeping. Anger? Yeah, I would do a lot of passive aggressive stuff because <laughs> yeah, I was in yeah. New York at the time. Yeah. So oh, a lot okay. of like shoving businessmen on the subway. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. Little hips. Little hip shoulders. shoulders. Yeah. Uh, I'm done, I'm done that. Yeah. Um, I probably drank more. I sure. did drink more. Yeah. And uh, I put it under the guise of, I'm just a, a grown up now. I just do yeah. this. And it's like, why are you having martinis every day uh, and ignoring your family? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that kind of thing. But it didn't lash out in like in those other ways. Well, that's kind of cool. You just yeah. contained it. You, you, you stuffed it inside. How long, did, it, so. how long cool. did that last? It's not an exciting way to do it. No, this is, but this sounds more fun. Like what you guys no, are doing. No, it's self-torturing sounds... though. You're very self <sighs> took it out on on you which is kind of nice for your wife anyway yeah yeah i guess so she doesn't get worried about you dying and stuff you know yeah well you could drink yourself to death oh that's true were you You that level no no it was just a a two and then fall asleep yeah yeah Yeah. it was a boring midlife crisis did it last long no did you were you did you get like an awareness about it you're like oh i'm I, i see what i'm doing yeah yeah yeah, for sure. It was a little bit like yeah, because you're you're so self aware. Yeah, I'm like, why do I have to take a nap? Why am I trying to take a nap so I have more energy at four so I can get energy to drink at five? This is my biggest thing <laughs> you know, about like my friends. That was that, my schedule for a while. That drink and are always on me for like I don't really drink. Yeah, and my main thing. It's not like oh I have discipline. Is that like I just hate the feeling of having to take a nap. 
Oh, yeah, you know? like, yeah. I, I hate a mid. I'm like I'm. Every time I have a drink, I'm like I'm tired. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. Day drinking. Yeah. Like I, I hate yeah, it. I know. I do too. I hate that. Feel. Like for me, it's an evening, nighttime thing only. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, like it seems appealing. Sit outside with your friends, and, and right away I'm like drink. No, yeah, then so you're like, Oof, I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep. Worst it's a, such like... an interesting thing though that you're asking, like, because I don't really. It didn't have like the car thing or the. I guess it was Did just that. Did you relive that. your youth? Did you want to do things from your past? Did mm. you look up old girlfriends on Facebook? Yeah, but that's all the time. Yeah. Right? What's this bitch doing? Yeah. yeah. I only use Facebook to see who's gotten fat. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, ugh. You know, like just to see how shitty other people's yeah. lives have gotten. <laughs> yep, I knew it. Put a little pep in my step. Yep, you really knew. You, you really thought you had it going on. Yeah, you fucking bitch. Senior year. Look at you now, fatso. Yeah. What are you doing, Steph? It's fun to see. Yeah. Steph. Fucking Stephanie. Somebody who was kind of full of themselves, you know? Oh, it's like, the best. Yeah. Kind of where they're at. Like uh-huh. <laughs> yes, nice. 100%. I have a few. There's a few that I check on regularly, like girls in rotation. I'll be like, how is that bitch doing? Wow. Still sucks? Cool. Still only sucks? On, oh, another guy? Only on low days, though. Like when I need a little boost, oh, you know? Yeah. yeah. Don't you have people you go to? I have okay, and then yeah. I have Instagram profiles that I go to just to pep myself up too. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, but so evil. It's yeah. nobody from my past though. That's no. still, I have I have two. Is it, so two is okay. Fa- Facebook is for the past. Instagram's uh-huh. for the present. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Two categories. That is, that is actually pretty. <laughs> yeah. 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 And what's funny about the Instagram is that they think they're killing it. Yeah. They think they're <laughs> they're not yeah. really aware. Do that you think everybody? Yeah. So you know how we all <laughs> share posts of <laughs> certain comedians? <laughs> um, <laughs> like, we all do that. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. ever go, I wonder if somebody's sharing my like For my sure. posts? Yeah, probably. Sure I think are. so. That's why sometimes I don't post. Yeah, because you're like, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Because I think the people that are really good at it never have the feeling like, no, I shouldn't. Right, right, right. They just That's do it. Yeah. They just go. Oh. And... They have to be aware, or maybe it just doesn't bother them that someone's like, "Look what yeah, of jerk off Johnny's doing now." <laughs> yeah, but I have that thing, yeah, pretty deep of like, "Oh, come on!" And it's really you know the the the, the <laughs> thing that's going me? to be yeah. mocked is any sincerity. If you're doing, if you go uh, like, "I'm not posting this uh, for comedy," this yeah. is sincere. Then then you're in the category of worthy of mockery, <laughs> for right? Hundred percent. Anything sincere, anything that's yeah. like, like, oh, what? I know, overly sex, overly sexy, uh-huh. overly sexy, male, especially the or overly sexy, yeah. sexy. or oversharing. If you're sharing, yeah, the male version of that is, yeah, there's a couple guys, comedy yeah, guys like, that are just like, what, what are you, very doing? sexual, yeah, or telling people how to live. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> here's what here's what you need to do. Here's what you need to do. Yeah. Exactly. That is a uh, that's you're going to be mocked. Well, anybody who ha- like because you see it, whether it's in comedy or in like unsolicited advice yeah. from anyone. I'm like, here's what. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We get it as comedians from other people who are telling you about comedy sometimes. And you're like, what? Like, right. Who asked you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask this at all. No. But yeah, yeah. People are like, I got, I got the answer for you. Yeah, it's so bad. Or, or like, um, when people get real political uh-huh. on Instagram, no, like where they, they advocate stuff, and you're like, what are you doing? Hey, where'd yeah. that come from? Yeah, like I don't <laughs> right? want to know. What There's you this mean. thing that happens yeah. in for comedians that get popular is if you get popular, this there's this there's this time where you make a choice of uh-huh. like i'm going to become yes. an advocate uh-huh or i'm going to stay a comedian right like and like yeah. seinfeld for instance was like no i'm a comedian yeah you know like yeah. there's things he i'm sure he cares about sure but he's just like i'll just stick to like yeah it comedy should be funny and cars and like <laughs> yeah. shit that i like because well, it's such a bummer when they do it's that. a bummer it is I a bummer know. You're like, don't you, have an agenda you're you like fuck. you like this comedian and they're like you know our water sources are the <laughs> i know <Stop> it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see them when someone uses those clips, like in the other accounts, like the inspirational accounts oh, or whatever. God. And it's like, wait, but that's my I, that's my comedian friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they're like being really like letting you know. Yeah, like, you should live like I live. Are you not voting this year? Oh. <laughs> what? God. It really shifts yeah. things for you. Too. Yeah. And then the next post will be oh, like, I know. I know you guys logged on to see something funny, but <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I feel like I. I could use a little bit more of that. Like I, 
a little bit more of no. a lack of the self aware because like, they're so yes. they oh, get so popular. Yeah. yeah. They get so they put so much out. And I'm always like, ah, no one wants to I wouldn't want to see that. I just try to I, I I don't try to like go like you should live your life this way or yeah. um this is who I'm voting for. But I do try to go like, you know what, I like this thing. Like I did a yeah. photography put I'm like, this is a photo this is a still image app i'm posting photographs so like right. his photos i took i don't care if people don't like him i'm like i'm making it for myself <laughs> right um, right but yeah I, I try to stay away from yeah i've got all the answers i never understand how people always have like the guy taking the video of you when you're getting on the plane you know what i mean oh, like, yeah. like they, they always have like like i'm always by myself yeah. <laughs> and it's like how do they how do they have a Who's filming you? Yeah, turning from the churro oh, stand and being God. like, you know, what you got to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I need that guy. Yeah. I need a hype man. You can get a hype man. <laughs> I need, I can it's... they apply here? You want them to just go? You want to? <laughs> you want to give criteria for what you're looking for? Yeah, if anyone wants to just follow me around on your own time. Oh, but it's such an abuse of, <laughs> of your of your power too to get to get on board with an agenda with people. It's like, oh, don't yeah. bum everyone out. Yeah. I'm not, I don't mind getting um, it from people that aren't funny. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's people that give you Correct. advice or like they show like an artist quote or like that's cool because that's your lane. Or even actresses. Like there are some actresses that are just so hype on their causes. Uh -huh. And I go to their Instagram specifically to see them get nutty about <laughs> yeah. their causes. I'm like, oh, it's going to be a good one today because yeah. abortion didn't get passed. You know, like, <laughs> right. What is she going to say? I know she's going to be so fired up. Yeah. And you're like, well, thank God so-and-so posted. Now Congress is going to know. You yeah. know? Like, no one fucking cares what an actor thinks. Yeah. You know? But but they think they're doing something. I guess it is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Right. That's the thing. Does it move the dial? Yeah, for what they... I think, how can it... I, I don't, don't know. know. If you're really big, maybe. If you're huge. If you yeah. have, like, Gwyneth really... Paltrow could change things. Yeah. <laughs> really? She totally could. I think it's I'll do whatever be... she says. I think it's got to be something... <laughs> She's a good marketer. Somebody yeah. that has that doesn't give up. Like, who would never use that power? <laughs> yeah. Cardi B? Like, yeah, no, or like Cristiano Ronaldo, who's just like... <laughs> yeah. uh, there's All about him. 400 million followers. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just like, give me like a new Richard Mille watch. And then <laughs> he's like, uh, you know, like, but if you were like, hey, man, yeah. you want to talk about these causes? He's probably like, no. Yeah. I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. I'm going to pose next to my yacht. <laughs> I also like, I also want to be the guy who has, who, who is convinced his following that they're just as successful as they are. Oh, uh, I love that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like you, we did it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we sold out five shows at the Beak, and we did it. There's no stopping us. Yeah. It's yeah. like us. We did That's it. a weird one. Yeah, I want to yeah. be that guy, though. I really wish I had that. That that the gear. shameless. You don't want to be yeah, that guy. Yeah, the shameless guy. It's too. Sh there's a, okay. So there's a level. <laughs> we did it. We did oh, it. I know. I'm gonna vomit just hearing that. You, there, there is a level of narcissism you have to have to do what we do. Yeah. Like there's a healthy spectrum of like that. But then when it's the we did it guy, it's yeah. like, oh my God, my face turns red. Like I'm hot in the face. Yeah. I know. Or like when people lie about how rad they are too. You're like, when you're, what a, do you when mean? you're a comedian, you're like, we're all in this together. <laughs> hey, so make some no, room. Exactly. I know. I know. But it's got a but, funny little thing to but it. When they do it, when they do it in a post of yeah. like, of like all this money I've made, because we're all doing this. Like, <laughs> no, you're not. We did it, guys. We just yeah. got a house. <laughs> you should never come. Yeah. But we did buy a house together. Yeah. Yeah. We're all doing it. Yeah. I know. I know. But there's yeah. there's a couple classics uh, in the comedy world. We, you can pop open that Instagram. Just look at the photos, and you're you're pretty. You feel pretty good about yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then there are this. There are the ones that I have to mm -hmm. mute. I have to mute for a while because I'm like, it's too intense, bro. It's like too much. You can't get me every time I open the app. Yeah. Like I can't see you working out mm -hmm. or doing your fucking bullshit <laughs> or talking your we did it guys shit. Like once once yeah. a quarter I can handle it, yeah. but not every day, bro. And it is truly amazing when you do mute. Yeah. How. Your head clears. Yeah. You're much happier. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're not being date.
on social media <laughs> every time you open it up. It's so true. It really Emotional. is true. Did, you know, De Stefano said he had a complete change in in like happiness and just mental health. So he truly did the apps are off his phone. Uh-huh. He records things or, right. or comes up with things, sends them to somebody who posts them. So he oh. doesn't do any interacting. And he said he's just anxiety gone. Really? Hap- just complete because you can get just so lost in these things. Oh, uh-huh. you know? yeah. I am so quick right now. I'm going, you know, go through phases. I'm so quick to open the phone, hit Instagram. Yeah. Open the phone, hit. I just, I'm just keep doing it. I do the, uh, the cycle what, sometimes. What's your cycle? So it'll be like, I look at Instagram. Yeah. Right, and I'll be like, I need to get off Instagram. And without thinking, I'm just talking about what my brain does. I, yeah. I close Instagram and I hit YouTube. Uh-huh. And then I go through YouTube and I'll look at things and, and uh-huh. watch some videos and I'll be like, I need to get off YouTube and this is some like, this yeah. is bad for me. And as I do it, I see the Instagram app and I'll, I'll, have, I'll be like, oh, and then I'll be like, oh, I, I just got off this. Close that. <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe go look at Twitter or something for a little bit. Close that. Emails. Yeah. Because the emails app is there. Yeah. So now you're looking at, oh, did emails come in? Okay. I read, uh-huh. respond, close that and go like, and start the cycle again. Yeah. So it's like this. Interesting. Because your cycle was different. I remember your 08 cycle because back, back when we weren't having as much go on, I believe it was. Not Huffington Post. Um, what uh-huh. was the Drudge Report? No, I would read all the different ones. Drudge Report. Slay. So Drudge Report was for like what's going on in conservative news. <laughs> right. And then Huffington Post was like kind of, it was like Huffington was like a, more opinions and had like left yeah. left stuff. And then The Guardian yep. So it was like, uh, it was UK based, but it was more yeah. liberal news. So I could see the full spectrum of how things were reported right and then um twitter and then twitter love twitter um, really yeah well because yeah. it, it was great for i wasn't a, a big tweet guy uh-huh. it's just like it was an information gathering thing because i would yeah i'd like to just know what people are talking about well, all that's, around that's the <laughs> problem is i do feel like i haven't seen a twitter feed in years like i just oh, got I off twitter yeah, but i do feel sometimes out of the loop like i'll kind of I notice that people are more aware of stories going on than I am. Like, yeah. I, you know, not that I totally regret it, but sometimes I feel maybe out of step. Yeah. Am I, am I missing something? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why you need to get on TikTok because I get all my news on TikTok. Um, Great this morning, source. I didn't Great send source. you a video, remember? Yeah. This morning. Yeah. Because you usually uh-huh. send me a video of a weirdo. I didn't get your video. I used a different <laughs> word, but yeah. It's funny, since last time I was here. <laughs> I was trying to spare you. <laughs> since yeah. last time I was here, I was like trying to figure out like how you get those heinous things like yeah. sent to you. No, and I tried to like hit on a couple, but sure. it still reverts back to usually children and dogs. Wake oh, up to, a, to a Christina going, send me a video of a guy who's like, I can want me balance his bottle on my head and it's just like a guy doing this and i'm like it's a great way to start the day thank you (laughs) it is much better than cnn yeah oh it's so much better and then there was did i say the guy whose dick twitches when he talks and he pretends like it's not like his dick is huge it has music so i couldn't send it to you guys i think we could mute that one and you could just say it's probably in my phone that's that's the kind of video so that's your headline for the day yeah 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 it's nothing to do about ukraine or whatever yeah (laughs) if it's important enough i'll know that's what she says if it's big enough i'll fucking she'll say this like oh i'll know if it's and then it'll be like you know, hey, you know, Ukraine, she'll be like, what's going on in Ukraine? I'm like, am I supposed to summarize this <laughs> yeah. in five seconds? Yes. Like, this has been a kind of a big story for a while. Yeah. She's like, is, 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 did something happen? I'm yeah. like, well, kind of, yeah. yeah. What, are we going there for vacation? No. What's happening with Ukraine? Yeah. Not really. I got relatives there. Don't tell and then me she'll be like, oh, it. it's like, it's a Russia thing. She'll say that, right? I'm like, yeah, that's a good <laughs> summary of the whole thing. <laughs> Don't care. Same yeah. shit, different toilet. I feel yeah. like it's all the same stuff with just different players over mm-hmm. and over and over and over again. Oh, I Russia's know. being a dick. Got it. My parents lived through it. <laughs> Got right. it. Escaped from that region yeah. already. Yeah. Got yeah. it. East and West. Oh, boy. Boom. <laughs> Do you have any um, like East and West yeah, feelings same shit. about going in? We're going into another cycle of like it. I had never had so much um, like news fatigue 
as I did over the, the from 2016 to, yeah. to, or 2015, let's say through 20, yeah. to the point where I was like a, a really hard, like she said, I was always a hardcore news consumer. Yeah. And it wore me out so much uh-huh. that I actually did fade on those yeah. news stories where there are news stories that come up now where, I mean, I'm making jokes about it, but like where I'll be like, what's that? Because yeah. I, I don't consume as much as I used to. Yeah. And I think we're we're ramping up. We are. For a big one. I mean, this one's <sighs> going to be <sighs> wild. It's going to be even worse. I think so. Because look, there's no... I like to try to stay in reality. Yeah. And reality is, whether you want to admit it or not, Mm -hmm. the current guy in office, Mm -hmm. Biden, is not all there. And people who are pretending, it's like, you're fucking lying to yourself. Like, this guy is a mess right now. He is too old. He is unfit. He is unwell. His cognitive function isn't there. He's physically not all there. He's very old. He should just stop falling down. And it's bullshit that he's running again. I I said, why can't we? I was saying that in my shows this weekend that, you know, we had a president that was in a wheelchair for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. FDR, nobody talked about. They just, he was fighting Hitler. So like, let's, let's be like Ixnay on the eel chair way. (laughs) Maybe what we actually need is another Hitler. (laughs) So, well, I'm just saying, because it'll be a distraction. (laughs) Yeah, it'll be a distraction. From his physical I'm like, just give Biden a wheel, just let him have a wheelchair. (laughs) Yeah. It would be like, why are we making him (gasps) climb steps? Yeah, exactly. That's so mean. And then we can (laughs) re-brand him as the non-ableist. Chad, what's the branding on the, the president in a wheelchair? Yeah. He'd be great for that whole constituency. Yeah, and give him a, a motorized one. He can put yeah. his Biden glasses on. Yeah. I mean, really, why? I, I would have trouble getting up those steps to the Air Force One. Like, sure, sure. I would definitely be stumbling. Them. Yeah, and they I, could put a, a wheelchair yeah. lift on that thing, and he just presses a button. Yeah, he's <laughs> pro handicap people. But, but I we do can't like say that. I do like how how like. They're just running stuff and they're getting things passed and they're just yeah, kind of, there's nothing and to it's report. just boring. It's boring. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed nice. to be. It's very boring. And that they're going to come and make it this, this assault again. But, is just, mm-hmm. uh, but aside from the show. tripping and the falling, I mean, when he speaks, you're also like, like I have, well, it's old mixed with stutter. Yeah. yeah we forgot and there's, the stutter. there's elderly yeah. people stutter. that I know who are, who speak like that. And you're like, oh yeah, they're sweet. And, and, yeah. and I don't want them to die. Yeah. Um, but, by the way, you know, they shouldn't be running a business, no, let I, alone yeah. the nation. It just feels like, yeah. come on, dude. And like, this is somebody... But who could you pass it to? Well, I don't know. That's the thing is that's that we're, that's what we're setting up here is like, there yeah. should be, it should be open on their side. And then you have fucking psycho yeah. who's going to get back into oh. this thing. I know. And... Oh. And his whole nonsense, which is very entertaining. So I won't, I won't say that it's not. It's extremely entertaining. It's, yeah. It's, um, but he's a, a fucking lunatic. That's why we were exhausted. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. of that, his power to, I mean, he, he lives, he's a media monster. He's a media monster. Oh, so he was like the, the assault from him. Was, I actually feel like one thing I didn't expect, there was this thing when he left office where people who really were anti-Trump were like, well, stop giving him coverage because all you guys do yeah. is cover him. Well, they're covering the president, right? Yeah. And they kind of did uh huh. really over these years. Yeah, for a while. Stop covering him. Yeah. Like he would say things or release statements and they would just kind of like, here's a statement and it would just kind of, yeah. you saw things fade, but it's ramping up again, right? It's yeah, when CNN up. put him on, everyone was losing it. Like, yeah. what are you doing? We're not supposed to talk. I let this Voldemort guy talk. Voldemort. And you're like, talk. we haven't even uh, said his Voldemort. name. You realize that? I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Even much, don't even mention his name. It's, he's going to poof yeah. back into existence. I know. And then you got DeSantis. God. Yeah. You know, um, is like this, he's like, who a lot of people like in the Republican yeah. Party, and then Kennedy. Um, oh yeah, right. Because all these like third party people. Yeah, it's always like they're just gonna, you know, take away votes from the two big parties. Right. But at some point, one of them is actually going to break through. Do you remember do- Perot? Of course. Yes. God. Yeah. I was, I was I was all in with Perot. Yeah, I think Larry. a lot of people were. <laughs> He's like, hey, Larry, you can do it. Yeah. Look at this chart here, Larry. <laughs> that guy was yeah. awesome. He was Is so he dead? Great. He's got to be He's dead. dead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was great. He was great. He was the one who had the most impact mm-hmm. in the third. Yeah, the third lane. <gasps> oh, yes. Nadav has dick twitch ready, guys. Uh, Here's oh, my dick news. Twitch. Here's what I'm breaking news. 
Oh, that's a big dick. <laughs> right. Breaking he, news. The best part is he acts like it's not the center of. Yeah. He's like, of course, that's hey, what guys, you do. look at that. You look at my view. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at my view. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just Again, the, <laughs> one more time for, for Tom. Wait, is that yeah, it? Yeah, wait, I missed it. That was it. Dick twitch. Look oh, at it. oh, I see. It moved right there. Yeah. Uh, I thought you meant it was just going to be the focal point of like. But no, that's the essence of a good talk is that yeah. he just kind of throws it in. Oh, well, what's yeah, that twitch? It did, it did. It's so subtle and he yeah. knows what he's doing. I yeah. had a massage yesterday <laughs> and uh, I was, I just wanted to fluff a little just to have a little sure. twitch. Yeah. Like, sure. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I was just, I'm not looking for a happy ending. I'm not yeah. looking for any. I just wanted there to be, be something there, something yeah. when they flip you over. Where just, they're like, this, so they're know, like, this is so sad. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want them yeah. to be like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't pull it off. Aww. Yeah. I felt, Aww, I felt like. <laughs> little fella. <laughs> yeah. What's I mean, wrong with you? That was flaccid. Yeah. Like five and a half six like yeah but guys like that tom you yeah. know when they get erect <laughs> it's the same it's the same tom. it's the same there's yeah. no growth there and right I'll, that's not going to grow into 10 when you watch a movie you want to see the character develop yeah exactly <laughs> and change that's so true i know mine goes through such oh an arc what an underdog yeah, yeah. the beginning of the movie you're like rooting for him because you're like this guy there's this is no a loser way. yeah he's not going to make it there's no way yeah. and then at the end triumph yeah right <laughs> my percentage growth has got to be like a thousand percent. <laughs> I mean, yeah. really, it goes. It goes from, from inside to outside. It really does. <laughs> it actually, it goes like it wakes up and it goes. Is anybody out here like that? A little timid. Mm, yeah, I thought I heard something, and then it just comes out into the world. Yeah, and I'll then the take sun my hits first it. First step. <laughs> But actually, but it's always looking over here, like what's going on over yeah. here, yeah. and then ends at the on a mountaintop. It does. What yeah. do you think my penis would look like? Would it look like my dad's? Because oh, does fuck. yours look like your dad's? Do you know yeah. what your dad's looks like? Sure do. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. Just for the record, yeah. yeah. But he was a but European it, gent, and like my right. family was always nude. Uh -huh. This is not a big deal. They didn't Americans learn are uptight. Like, our norms for a long time. Yeah, that's why they're always, not number one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had uh, my kids are leaving now. They're like on their way out, and I it was the, so I'm very uh, I'm reflecting on like that we went through that whole thing. And I was thinking when I was they changing. Saw your peener, yeah, or? yeah. Well, I was changing into my workout clothes, and when you strip down, and I was like, "That's a that's an accomplishment there." Like my kids didn't see my stuff since you know probably like when they were really really little, yeah. like four. Yeah, you know, like th that was good, good accomplishment that yeah. they didn't have. They're they're not going to do podcasts. In the future, and be like, I know what my dad's penis looks like. <sighs> no, I can pretty much it. say they have yeah. no idea. I saw my dad's balls at a later stage of his life, uh -huh. and they were enormous, so big, low, yes. low, and hangy, and they looked like pigs' nuts. They like, <laughs> they were just <laughs> grotesque, and I was like, Jesus, man. Yeah. But was your dong like his? Well, that's the thing is that like I don't really, yeah, remember his dong. I just you know I I saw him change, yeah. and I was like, all I could see were the balls. I was like, fuck, man. Yeah, is your are you okay? is your back okay? Like, you're, you're really making me want to text my dad. Yeah, <laughs> before it's too late. Have, yeah. him, have him send you a dick pic. Yeah, yeah. Dick da daddy. Daddy, send me a dick pic. Daddy, dick pic. Yeah, dad can real quick. Can we trade dick pics? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if, if boys and their 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 dads have the same Such a good genitalia. Question. Well, you've got boys. I know, but I'm. It's weird. I haven't. I don't know. Oh, we haven't even thought about this. Yeah, for yeah. good reason. I, yeah. Think we should, I think we should probably keep it to ourselves. But hold on. Yeah. Now that I think about it, oh man. Oh no. I have my mom's vagina. You oh, do. You've seen her vag like of that. Of course, I've seen everything. My parents were not like I said. Yeah. They're Europeans, but she had a big fire crotch, like orange pubes. I don't orange. have that. But in terms of like, yeah, I think I got her vag. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And her tits. Oh, no, I've become my mother. Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> I'm it my really dad on a lot happen. of on a lot of things. It's happening. I know. You I'm, grow yeah. on your parents, whether or not you yeah, want to. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It really, I had this re realization I, two days ago. I was sitting having coffee, and I was like, oh, I became my mother. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Your dad's cool. I, he rides motorcycles, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I know. 
that part's cool. But I bought a uh, mm. I bought a three pack of silicone spray because <laughs> it was a deal. Yeah. <laughs> That's becoming your dad. That's too. my dad. Silicone yeah. spray. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like give them out to people sure. and expect what? they'll be happy. Like I What do you use that for? Just to plug up holes when rats. You shouldn't come in your use house? you should no, that's that's the foam. Oh. This is uh you should use this. <laughs> this is dad thing too. You should use this rather than W D forty. Oh, I love W D forty. W D forty is really made for um like boats and things that get wet and water oh. and it's really too uh, oily and you really shouldn't use it. You should really use silicone spray. That's on, on door jams and that kind of thing. This is such a dad talk. It's yeah. a total dad thing. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw, and then I was like, went online to get some and saw a three pack. And you're like, oh, oh man, I nailed it. Came into the kitchen, told my wife what I just did. <laughs> what is, oh, what are you no. guys going to do now with the girl's, I don't. Leaving. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be very. Oh, do you interesting. you talk about it? Do you? Do you yeah. guys? Yeah. And what do you like? What's yeah. the? Is it travel? You can have your says, midlife crisis now. It might. It might. She's definitely going to go through it. Yeah. She's definitely going to go through it. You're gonna. You're both going to act out in some way, whether you recognize yes. that you're doing it or not. Yeah, I know. You know, I I'm booked so heavy in the fall. Mm -hmm. I think that's already my thing. part of it. Yeah. yeah. And like, there's when I'm on the like, I'll try and get home first flight like there's nothing better than landing at nine on a sunday yeah in la so i can get home and start cooking for everybody and like do like that's not gonna happen Aww. like it's that's gone so you know what to do is fucking stay out stay out yeah just yeah fuck them you know yeah yeah <laughs> it took your own breakfast <laughs> yeah you but left. now i'm just talking to my wife yeah it's not like, them it's yeah. her God, how right boring now. yeah yeah I know. She'll it's, be like, are you on the first flight? But, and you'll be like, I'm not even coming home today. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. You have a Sunday show? Yeah. No. No. But, <laughs> but I'm staying in Austin. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. she come with you maybe? I think she'll come with me more, uh, like to the good spots. That's it. Which would be cool. Uh, you know, the real bummer is that we didn't time out our dog's oh, life. Yeah. Like they're still around. You know what I mean? Like yes, if they yes. if they had passed when our kids were going to school, yeah. we could go live in New York for three months. Yeah. Right. But now we have all these animals. Yeah. And they're oh, pretty God. healthy. You're gonna really Well that's the thing is we got we lucked out in that our youngest is allergic to uh dogs and now cats. Really? So we get to like instead of having a house full of animals, which we were, yeah. we were doing. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's it really lead. ties you down. Yeah. I'm a crazy dog lady. I was like, the minute my kids leave, I'm going to get five dogs. I'm going to rescue and I'm just going to get like a herd of dogs <laughs> Yeah, and start rescuing. Seriously, because yeah. I, I just, the mother in me, what do I do now? I know. Now that that part is alive and I care about things. Oh. I know. I know. And then my wife is the same way. Fuck. And she loves them. I know. But it definitely ties you down. Like we, we're not, she's not going to. So what you're saying You could is... poison the dogs. I was thinking about that. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Yeah. We also have a pool with no oh, yeah. no oh. fence. Just a little, like throw a treat towards the pool. And, oops. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I didn't see it. It happens. it happens. How many dogs? Two dogs. You could kill those. And a cat. Oh, oh you could kill those real cat. quick. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just leave the cat outside overnight? The coyotes will get it. it that almost too. happened last week. This is about, see? you're one of the only people, because you're so good at stand up and writing. When, Thank you. When you, when you do. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We did it. We did do it <laughs> together. All of us together. And I know. This is like an inside uh, comic studio question, but mm -hmm. when you start over with stand up, like when you put something out and you're, how do you start? How do you go back to it? Well, this year my special came out in December mm -hmm. and I was on tour in January. How? Oh my God. I just didn't think about it. You just didn't think about it. I just had dates and it just literally didn't think I about think it. I think that that helps is um, when they go, you have to be uh, on stage on this date. Yeah, oh, it definitely does. Yeah. And for the first time, uh, I'm like, I write these books and I really take time and like write them. Like I sit and, and just, like you said earlier, like put the hours in. Yeah. And stand up, I'll get an idea and I'll bring it on stage and then I'll say it and they'll give me some feedback and then I'll noodle on my pad with it. Yeah. And it's a slower process kind of going back and forth. But because I had no time, I'm like, what if I just dedicate this book time to stand up and really just start writing it and get really aggressive with it? And that's what you've done? And I had an, I had like a new act 
a little short, you know, but I had a new act by the time I went out in January. Wow. So it it's really worked. Impressive. It was about putting the time. Totally worked. Okay. Because I need to hear this. Totally worked. And, you know, Carlin did it that way. And he, he was, was all right. He was okay. Yeah. And, uh, jeez, guys. And I was just like, uh, let me just try it. Like, why am I being so yeah. stupid about it? This is, should be, yeah, just really, really right. Spend it. time. And some of it fell off and wasn't funny, and some of it was good. And and then the process starts again, where it was. Uh, You're using the audience to gauge. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but the the real key thing here is that you spent the time that you would be like the like you would dedicated to writing a book. Yeah, to just working on stand up. A hundred percent. And then it got into this rhythm of it where if I would just go to the store. And I hadn't written that day. If I just stayed for like a half hour, I would write something out and get get it kind of funny and then just bring it up on stage, like literally, which I never did, like really memorize like a paragraph almost. Yeah. And bring that up and start working on it. It just accelerated it. It just made it really fast. Yeah. Yeah. So it was cool. But then I got lazy with it. Then as soon as I had like the act, I haven't really been spending the time. Yeah, and then there's definitely get, a hole right get, now in it. You'll get bored enough with that, or frustrated by it enough that it'll make you do it again. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you need to be bored with it, and like sometimes there's nothing going on in this noodle, emotionally, uh, yeah. or you know, you're just living your life, and then one day you'll be like, oh, I know how to fix that. I know, but don't right? you feel like? I mean, you guys do this all the time, and it's like in your life you don't have something to talk about all the time. No. But then you walk in here, and then it's like all of a sudden. It, it starts coming out. out. Yeah. There's always something. I know. Like sitting and thinking, well, I don't have anything, really is not true. Maybe. You know what I mean? You just got to start. You just got to kind of like put it out there. Yeah. I had, I was, I'd interviewed Carl Reiner once, hmm. and uh, he was like 90 at the time. And I didn't realize he was at the desk where he wrote Dick Van Dyke. He wrote like the first 12 Dick Van Dykes by himself. And I and he's there at ninety, and he has his, on his big computer screen his new book, and he's writing another book at ninety, and he's just jovial and fun. and And I said, "Do you ever get writer's block? Like, I know this is a hacky question, but do mm-hmm. you ever get writer's block?" He's like, "No, I never understood it. Sit down and start writing. It's not going to be great, but just start writing. Yeah. What do you mean block? What are you, what, what are you thinking about? Just." start just, doing it yeah and i was like yeah you're right like what does that even mean there's uh what's mm-hmm. that great um the new the kiwi the new zealand guy that did uh jojo uh rabbit oh uh 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 could taiki watiti yeah taiki watiti i always he, mess up his name he was saying something about um this is like in the similar lane of um when people are like you know writing a script or something he yeah goes, well you know the thing is 90 percent of movies are shit Ninety percent of books are shit. Ninety percent. So he's like the yeah. It doesn't have to be great. Like yeah. Just you don't have Even to as do the a masterpiece. Product. Yeah. He's like just write and then yeah. Maybe it won't be good and then you can move on to the next thing. Yeah. But if you just think about like this has because we do, we all do that. Like mm-hmm. I mean with new bits too. You're like I don't know this sucks. It's like so what? Just do it. And it's then it's the done. judgment. Yeah. It's the judgment. It's, yeah. You that's you you just have to keep plowing. You have to keep plowing. Yeah. Painting, like writing music. It's all the same thing where it's like Yeah. If you think about how it's going to be received or whether or not it's good, it's like that's you're wasting time. Yeah, just go. Just, just spit go, it out. Do the dumb thing and then be like that was dumb and then you're on to the next thing. Yeah. Know? One of the writers from the Simpsons said that uh he would write so fast. I forget which one, like one of the original mm-hmm. guys that he would write so quickly and spit it out that it, it would, it'd be like, and then Homer walks in and says something funny here. And then, yeah. and then he, he, Abu does this and he, and he holds up something that's uh, it's orange, but with a, and he would just like put like nonsense. Like, like placeholder kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he knew the outline so well, it's muscle memory and you know you'll fill it right. in later. And yeah, he wasn't worried yeah. about right. how right. that would be received yeah. is, what, is what you're saying too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like, I'm not going to judge this. It's not even close to being... Yeah able to be judged yeah and i think too the unconscious just takes time to like aren't there jokes that take 10 years to write for you where you're like yeah god damn i wish i could mm. and then one day you're like oh i know how to do that because yeah. it took that long for your mind to whatever the anger behind it or the yeah. fear or whatever processes and then like bloop. But yeah. i think you, if you just listen that's the secret for me is like oh god listen to that idea don't just you, you know when the muse comes yeah like so, just listen write it down yeah, so you know exactly what you're trying to communicate. Yeah. Yeah. In the shower too. Sometimes the best things come in the shower when I'm in a just nice like, warm shower, relaxed. right? Yeah. 
And I'm just thinking. Cold ones work too. Oh I don't my think so. God, I hate cold. Have you ever ones. written a bit in that cold plunge? Oh yeah, Never. I'm always like that. <laughs> Never. You know how sometimes you hold Never. your breath and your body constricts. Torturing <laughs> <laughs> himself. Um, do you want to show uh, Tom what some of what you've been curating? Hell yeah, and I'm sure Tom wants to see them too. Yeah, so, I do. Yeah, let's. This here's is the a thing. wheelhouse. It's always a different emotional experience. Let's see how it goes today. The last one is still lingering. Oh, oh good. 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 I made it. My friends that. and I used to sue each other so we could get on court TV. This is the court show lets you sue for up to five thousand dollars, <laughs> and they pay whoever wins. So we made sure the plaintiff always won, and then we'd split the money. I played a promoter great. on Judge Joe Brown that sued my comedian friend because he left the show that I paid him to perform at. Promoter Ben Palmer is suing a performer for breach of contract. Defendant Derulio Ledger says he had to leave the show for his own safety. The club not even in the hood, but the whole hood. It was inside the club, Your Honor. <laughs> it's That's great. Fantastic. See, you learned something today. This is one amazing. Of three times where you've played good stuff. Okay. <laughs> See, what do you care about? Who's going to be president or not? That? That, yeah, that, that was way better. That was much more better. important. Okay. Hypo Negative is the best fucking band on this earth. You know, well, I, mother, thought, I thought Beethoven girl. was good. Typo Eight. Negative there. Oh, typo Negative there. <laughs> if it ain't Typo Negative, it ain't worth fucking listening to. I'll tell you that day. right now. Oh, wow. God, that <laughs> accent is so horrific, too. Oh, you the, know? Yeah, the package. I love her. Type, she's type Typo in. negative. Typo, typo negative. negative. Can typo. I tell you? Oh. That's called the mid-Atlantic accent. And you, <laughs> you find it in Baltimore and uh, other parts of Philly. And it's like, uh, you could put that accent on a supermodel and you would kick her into traffic. Negative. Would, type negative. Typo negative. Ain't fucking worth listening to. Can, ain't can I tell fucking you something? worth it. I 100% wanted to make fun of her. And then I was like, dude, that's how I feel about Bauhaus. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. I'm such a loser that, like, had I been into tattoos, I would have Bauhaus here, God. Bauhaus there. Oh, that's man, I get this listen to What is typo negative? Okay, so I looked I it know. up. Yeah. It's like a fucking romantic goth band. Oh, it's so like, might, this might be a kindred spirit I, of yours. Which is so weird because she doesn't look... Type A negative. She doesn't look kind of gothy, but I looked it up. and Yeah, they're like a romantic oh. American goth. Okay. I'd heard the name typo negative, but I'd Have never Have you heard listened. any other stuff? I, no. I guarantee the band is not happy that this is their demo. <laughs> <laughs> but I did listen to Type a song o, or two. It's on. It's on. <laughs> I did listen after I saw this TikTok and yeah. I was like, oh, maybe this is something I'd be into. It's a little too intense for me. Okay. But, oh, yeah. But, dude, this is her band. There you go. This is her band. Good for her. If you're someone who has a hard time spelling diarrhea, here's a handy <laughs> acronym for you. Dude, I actually really, really have explosive anus. <laughs> How useful was that? Yeah. I always dude, misspell dude. diarrhea. I always do too, actually. That's, <laughs> I actually really, I, really have explosive diarrhea. Dude, I explosive actually anus. really, really... <laughs> Have, have explosive, explosive anus. 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 I That's actually, pretty good. Dude, I actually really, really have. <laughs> Not really I misspell good. diarrhea all, all the, the time. time. All the time. Yeah. Why are you spelling it so much? <laughs> I have it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just the post-it notes for your family? There you go. Dude, they I really, actually really, really have, have explosive, explosive anus. Anus, yeah. yeah. That's, That's pretty good. So yeah. I'm usually writing, I have diarrhea. I'm not there because I have diarrhea. You know, right. I'm late with diarrhea. Yeah. Or, dude, that gave me what diarrhea. What's going on with your personal hygiene? <laughs> you heard of something called soap and water? Yes. Yeah, I have a couple of people back there puking from the smell that you have. Uh, it's uh, in my bathroom. Um, yeah. That is, uh, so Dr. that is now. Dr. Now he's the leading gastric bypass surgeon, uh, I think in the world, certainly in the United States. Uh -huh. And he, so he usually operating on like six, 700 pound people and, and he, he's very direct. Yeah. So he starts with, was like, have you heard of soap and water? To one, oh. to one of his. <laughs> By the way, the guy is misunderstanding what he's saying because he's saying yeah. you smell so bad that people are vomiting from you walking by and that yeah. guy's like yeah my bathroom smells he's like not your bathroom no like, right yeah, it's you it's you <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking like so oh yeah what is going on with your personal hygiene you heard of something called soap and water Yes, yeah, I have a couple of people back there puking from the smell. Oh, oh God! Yeah, he's brutal. Yeah. Oh. He's brutal. Well, he'll tell people too that want the surgery. Yeah, he'll be like, "All right, you have to come back, but you have to have lost like 
50 pounds by, you know, yeah. this date. And then they'll come back and he'll be like, you lost 30 pounds. So, you know, oh, yeah. I guess you just want to eat all day. And you're, <laughs> you're a weak person. So oh, no. oh, they're like, what? <laughs> yeah. This guy looks like diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, dude, I, I really, really, dude, really, I really have, have explosive, explosive anus. anus. Yeah. <laughs> a subscriber asked me to do this. No, no, it's good. Good morning, Julia, my beautiful queen above 18. I really enjoy your content from mild to wild to kink. I am very rich, and I have at least seven <laughs> ceiling fans in preparation to come and get that booty. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, Viagra's really a curse on this planet. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a great... <sighs> oh, David big, Gold, 7135. Thanks for giving him all the lines, everybody. <laughs> Uh, it, was, it was so hard to, to watch. That was awesome. And yeah. he managed to make that even creepier than it yeah. should have been. And so only the way that creepy. David can. Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, that was uh, terrible. Oh. My skin's crawling. How did he set it up that someone asked him to do it? Yeah. So somebody <laughs> somebody gave him lines from the sh from the podcast. Oh, my God. And, and he actually did it. But he's usually just like in a gym. Like, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, God, my arms are so sore from these bicep curls and you're yeah. like oh Jesus it's always him and his so, dick twitches you yeah. Know? yeah so yeah. cringy it's, so cringy oh, it's by far one of the worst bed bug infestations oh my I've seen. god dude <laughs> this dude this is what this dude's sleeping with this, this is a bed right here see bed yeah. pillows no yeah no. Oh. yeah could you imagine sleeping no oh, oh. crustiness on the tent no oh. dude oh. what as hard as a freaking rock ew wash your Who? sheets kids this, 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 this is what this dude sleeps with. Wash right. your bedding. All of these come out at night and eat him. They feed on him all. Yeah. Night. How's look at this? Who is this human? Yeah. Who is in this? Bed, but, oh, oh they're moving. Oh my god. It's a bachelor, dude. This is bad. It's yeah, you gotta throw this that dude. Bad. You gotta burn Everything. the apartment. Totally burn the dude. fucking house. Are you kidding me? Got all of his shoes. Yeah, everything's destroyed. Yeah, you gotta burn yeah. this. You gotta burn Dude, the, the whole, Yeah, everything's the gotta go. House. I don't even want to imagine what the inside of that looks like. Oh, no. Who's no, this no. guy who's in there? there? I know, but he's got VHS tapes. Like, chair. Yeah. Oh. It's like I mean, this, comics who get is, bed bugs on the road. Bad. If, if you right. take it home, it gets in your suitcase and it fucks up your house. But this is God. mental illness, though. This guy's yeah. got. Yeah. He's like old or something. Yeah, this reminds really? me. What was that? Remember the. Uh, it's not. The place isn't as bad as it used to be on the shows but like on the hoarders show yeah yeah where it would just be packed and then they were like yeah there's rats here but you know i don't yeah. mind them and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're my friends yeah, they're like, yeah. oh my god jars of urine oh, oh such god. a good remember ah. but remember how exciting it was the first time you saw hoarders it i know so good yeah. and intervention so good, good huh? time in television yeah. and then you start to feel bad about it yeah it just yeah. got like, burned out you're some like, of them bummed. just it's too yeah good. like it got too gross too when they're like, yeah, it's shit here in the room. And like, <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> no, my favorite was the woman that had 75 cat carcasses. Yeah. Carcasses? Like yeah. Like dead they cats. Would, they, they died. Ah. They'd get stuck and they'd get crushed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. And she'd be like, I love these cats. And they're like, you're not good at loving them, though, because they're all yeah, dead. They're all, dead. <laughs> they're all skeletons. Yeah. Like cats. Oh, she'd be like, oh, that's where Misty went. And like, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> it's been dead for weeks. So fun. Oh. oh, this one's actually good if you slip and fall into ice. Okay, guys, we're on okay, the so ice. Okay, so this is the cold chakra spot. It's your plunge pool. Which yeah. really can be mitigated. Mm -hmm. It's Tom Josh. in the morning. Yeah, it's Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, he's right. Relax. Is this what you're training And realize for? that it's going to pass. Uh-huh. And that after it passes... You'll be able to do the second part of your self rescue. <laughs> so I spread my arms out. Fuck this. So that I didn't get fully immersed in that gasp response. I'd be flailing. Did it make yeah. me inhale water? I'd just be dead. So I've survived my. The initial fall. You cold did survive. Shock response. Uh -huh. yeah. Now to get out. No thanks. Instead of trying to pull myself straight up. Yeah. I'm gonna start to kick my feet and raise them up behind me. Uh huh. And then kick. Oh, that's pretty smart. Wow. Until I'm on flat ice. Now that's I don't want to stand up now. I'm gonna ease myself forward. Oh. God, it looks miserable. <laughs> that's so bad. Yeah, it's terrible. 
until I feel like But he's got to feel great, right? Yeah. Ready to podcast. He's ready. (laughs) Ready to podcast. (laughs) I'll tell you what. This guy guy is feeling good right now, too. (laughs) He is. He feels great. He's ready to go. He's ready. He's He's probably like, do I have a change of clothes? And by the way, I am ready to go. Um, All right. This is going to be amazing. Let's talk about this book real quick. We're all in this together. So make make some some room. room. Um, Congratulations on your third book. Thank you. From a fellow author. Thank you. (laughs) Have you written a book? No. Why not? I want four. No one wants to hear these thoughts. Write it. You be, that'd be a great book. Sure. Yeah. I'm talking about farts and TikToks. <laughs> that'd be, that'd that'd be funny if every chapter alternated farts, TikToks, farts to TikTok too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have a lot in here, man. Um, date nights, unfamiliar hotel rooms, pets, drinking. Um, yeah. Ducking your family. I can't wait to read that part. Yeah. The whole book is basically that we're not the first human beings here. And mm. anytime you think like, oh, I have my unique problem or it, it's been done. You know, the thing it's is, it's been done. Pay attention to other people. That's it. That you like or don't like. And you'll learn from all of them. That's a great. That's a great. Yeah. You blew my mind, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the, a big part of that comes from oh, yeah. uh, you have to be willing to say what's what's bothering you or what's on your mind. Yeah. Like if you share it, then people go like, oh, you mean this? And oh, yeah. Like, oh, you know about that? Like, well, yeah, yeah. like yeah, we, did, we just went through all that. Yeah. Like if you just walk through a CVS, you think like your body and what everything you whatever little problem you have is yeah. so unique. Yeah. Mm. And there's just aisles <laughs> of wart cream. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, it's so true. It, 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 it everybody happens. else has had it. Awesome. Yeah. So it'll help you calm down. So cool. Well, um, <laughs> Thank you for coming. We always love seeing you. Um, likewise, likewise. You thank you, mommy. Come Good back. Thank you. you. Don't forget uh, to get Tom's book and also go see Tom on tour. And um, and also, if you're his children, come home. Some say hi. <laughs> yeah, you once know? in a while. Yeah, come say hi. Oh. Once in a while. Yeah. So sad. I mean, they miss you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're poor, which is a, that'll work That's to my awesome. advantage for a while. You want a good vacation, or you want to just want to? Yep. Yeah. Sit in your bed bug apartment. Show dad, <laughs> show dad a little love. Yeah. yeah. I'm right. willing to pay. <laughs> Thanks, Aww, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, guys. Bye, love, you. love you. Love you. How was your day? <laughs> like this broad put her beautiful tits in my face. And then Tommy and I dp her. What is a DP? Two at the same time? <laughs> Where do you on. find the holes? Two, two at the same time. All right, where do you find the holes? You gonna come? Two at the same time. Where do you find the holes? Two, two at the same time. All right, where do you find the holes? You gonna come? I never thought I'd fuck someone with my son. Dad, it was really a special moment. I'll never forget. I just, it was so good. Come on, buddy. Two at the same time. Where do you find the holes? Two, two at the same time. All right, where do you find the holes? You gonna come? Two at the same time. Where do you find the holes? Two, two at the same time. All right, where do you find the holes? You gonna come? Who do you think will come first, though, you or your dad? Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, dad. Come on, buddy. You gonna come? Come on, buddy. Come on, dad. Come on, buddy. You gonna come? Come on, buddy. Come on, dad. Come on, buddy. You gonna come? Come on, buddy. Come on, dad. Come on, buddy. You gonna come? I think I could come again. I never thought I'd fuck someone with my son. Dad, it was really a special moment. I'll never forget. I just, it was so good. I think I could come again. All right, buddy. Yeah. What is ADP? Did you like that full episode of your mom's house? Are your jeans as high and tight as they can be? I doubt it. Watch some more clips, dude. Look at that one. Watch that one right here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe Maybe you should subscribe. That way, every time a new video gets posted, you'll be notified. Stay in the know, jeans. Subscribe now.